It's cheats. I'm using the lookup. Two Phyrexian Obliterator. It's the one that does that does minus one, minus one. Like, but I don't think it's a zombie. Geralt's Messenger is a good man. One Sword of War and Peace, three more. My Mortar Pod's so busted in this deck. All right, Kevin Mulligan to six. BBD seven. So what's he got? He's got, is that Diagraph Ghoul? Or is that uh It's a horror. And it's like oh, the- it's a Grave Crawler? Yeah, that's Grave Crawler. <laughs> well, we had much discussion and over the Memorial Swamp. Turn. And in with the Grave Crawler for Kevin. So Brian <laughs> Braun doing, going to 18. So we've got Zombies versus Delver. I think Delver wins this match, but Zombies is very good I, I at Mizing. I never uh, could beat Mizing. Zombies when I was Delver. Yeah. But I would always get Mized out. Like, it was like, they would always need a Grave Crawler, but they'd have it. I think that's the way Zombies is, though. It's like it's a deck that just has that kind of reach where, you're, just, you know, it does have... Uh, it's just like, hey, I've got this Mortar Pod sitting over here. Oh, look, Geralt's Messenger, you're Brian, dead. It looks like Brian Brandoon's playing a deck similar to, to Jerry's deck. I think he's leaving up Monolith for uh, for the three two. Yeah, very likely. I mean, other I mean, otherwise you got to figure if he kept his hand, he would have made a more active play. I, I don't know why Zombies hasn't evolved their spell suite a little bit differently. Like uh, just Mortar Pod and Land Go from Brian. Tragic Slip. Like, Oh, it might be in the Obliterator. We could see Phyrexian Obliterator <coughs> here, but in the meantime, uh, Gravecrawler in for another two. You guys are working hard. Whereas Brian's deck is hardly working. Hardly working. I mean, he, he was leading up to the uh, the Midnight Haunting, so. Do you remember back in the day, like, that could just be your thing? Like, you make your first play on turn three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that happens anymore? <laughs> yeah, it's just... Oh man, if he goes like Virtue of Monolink open, that might be pretty good. So Midnight Haunting puts two spirits into play for Brian and no Virtue. He both is not spirits virtuous. into the red zone. I think it's going to be something awesome here. Lingering Souls, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure Brian actually has the card uh, Vapor Snag in his hand as well. If he's in attack with that that zombie, I just let let him hit me. What is that? Ooh, ratchet, ratchet bomb! bomb. Oh, steel that is sabotage! The steel sabotage heard around the world. <laughs> well, I mean, if this were like the finals, is that another ratchet? Bomb? <laughs> another ratchet bomb. No fun. Crack it. No All the fun. Spirits go no, away. thank you. My tokens. Oh man, that's. I was so excited for the Steel Sabotage heard around the I was world. pretty excited for the Ratchet Bomb, and then it was like, oh, Steel Sabotage, that's pretty cool, but a second Ratchet Bomb, Man, that's Brian, exciting. Brian must have been feeling good about himself for a second there, and yeah. now, getting beat up by a stupid zombie. So, so Ponder, Kevin paid Ponder? four men to the Wrath of the Board. But no, no, <laughs> he didn't Wrath the Board, he kept his... <laughs> he did keep his guy. His guy. But he had to spend two cards to do that. <clears throat> Nobody got a card out of Brian's I have never answer. seen Brian Brown do and play anything other than blue white like aggro controlish. Like ever. That's his thing, man. He's always like some sort of I mean how Esper how much Blade, have you seen Delver him? Blade. How how long have you been uh, watching seeing him? I mean what I've he seen plays. him play in a bunch of events. Yeah. Play, like he's on camera every week. But weekend. I mean in other for, like what format? So all right. So Legacy, here we, like he top eight to be able to play in Blade. Okay, so intangible virtue and a flashback lingering <laughs> souls. Brian getting back into the game here with some uh, Two two vigilant tokens. Um, no, I guess what I meant is other standard formats. Like, I I don't remember, you know, I don't remember what Brian played before Delver was, you know, before Innistrad. Probably Callblade. Actually, Probably, never, yeah, now like that I think Blade, about it, you're right. Wait, let's hold. This is actually an interesting turn. So what do you do? Do you bring with your guy here a germ token? Is a germ token a zombie? No, no. it's a germ. It's a germ. So he doesn't have a rebuy freebie, right? Right. I don't know. Is this game slipping away from Kevin? Because if he doesn't deal with this stuff fairly quickly, he's just going to start taking four to the nubs, right? Yeah. He's. I don't know what he's got in his hand. He's got... Let's see. Uh-oh! Yeah. No dealy dealy. All right, so no attacks from Kevin. Passes gonna, the so turn. So Brian's obviously going to bring for four. I'm sure he's got something awesome that he can do as well. 
Oh, you know, he might have like a timely reinforcements in his hand or something. Mm -hmm. I assume he attacked, right? Yeah. <coughs> so Brian just attacks, passes back. Kevin now adds a swamp to the board. That's that's way too many lands in play for the for a zombie for deck. A zombie deck to be happy. They only got like what twenty two lands. Did he just pass back? Nothing. Yeah. Uh -oh. And a midnight haunting from Brian at the end of turn. Yes, it's weird. Like I feel like goblins is uh, goblins. I mean zombies <laughs> is such a swingy deck. Like I see all these situations where it's just like it's not doing anything, and then he'll like well, he, something he, will happen, and he'll like top deck Garolf's messenger and win this game somehow. Yeah. You know, Kevin just like, Mulligan what? to six. Yeah, number one. He didn't have a very high pressure. I mean, this game looks like it's going to be out of, out of hand in a second. Yeah. like he's dead if he's not. He doesn't players, have a significant significant play here. The <laughs> Uh, phantasmal uh, image from Kevin. I mean, is he making a token so he can block? Magic players, Zach Sauls. Uh, I mean... David Clark, please come to yeah, the main yeah. stage. Even Zach if he can Sauls, block... David Clark, to the main stage. Yeah, so the, the image has become a spirit so he can... But that's still not enough, right? Oh, does he have a second Midnight Haunting? Yeah. He needed like another three, three or five ratchet bombs to. to win this game. <laughs> three or five. <laughs> yeah, that's just. And oh, oh, I got a snag the indignity. Too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's just not happening. And obviously, you know, this game was not an example of what I was talking about. But it does seem like so many times. Well, because zombies zomb lost. It never looks like zombies is going to win the game. <laughs> I guess that's the thing. Yeah, it never looks like. It's